After a lot of requests from subscribers, I designed these air filter kits. They work with 20 inch HVAC filters that are 1 inch thick, 2 inch thick, washable KNN filters, and 20 by 30 inch filters. They also work with most 20 inch box fans on the market. The designs are modeled on the Corsi Rosenthal filter box concept. This cube of air filters works really well but requires a lot of taping at filter change time. They also cannot handle a whole lot of punishment. This one fell apart while trying to dry out a flooded basement. I know that's a fairly extreme use case, but I'm just saying. These are highly functional, low-cost DIY devices, but they are pretty utilitarian and don't look all that nice in your home or office. If you don't care about that and this wooden kit is too much for you, I have a video on how to tape one of these together. In an effort to take this design to the next level, I went through a few months of design and prototyping. The kits ship with a bottom and top plate. Then, based on what size filter you intend on using, you will get 20-inch legs for the Model C kit or 30-inch legs for the Model B kit. My next video will cover the performance characteristics of these designs. This video is all about how to put one of these together. The first step is installing the adjustable feet. They should be screwed in all the way to start, and then you can back them off as needed later on. The most critical part of this design is this piece right here. The end cap slides snugly over the leg. We will get to how it works in a moment. These shims are designed to stack up inside the end cap like so. The reason for this is that not all filters are the same size. 3M filters tend to be the closest to nominal size. The legs need to be just a little bit shorter than the side of the filter. So you want to stack up a few shims until all these parts are just under the size of the filter. If you are using an off-brand filter, you may not need any shims at all. In this case, the length of the wood plus the two end caps is just right for this Nordic Pure 2-inch filter. To put this thing together, all you will need is a Phillips screwdriver. I like to assemble the legs, shims, and end caps so they are all ready to go. Then add a washer to one of the bolts. The bolt will get screwed into the nut that is buried in the end of the leg. You will insert the screw through the side of the bottom plate with the feet sticking out. Tighten the screw down all the way. Rotate the bottom and use the attached leg to support the assembly. Then repeat for all four legs. The round edge of the leg should be in line with the round edge of the base. Then we'll bring in the top plate. All the sides are the same, so pick any direction. Now run four screws with washers into the top side until tight. The slots in the top and bottom plates allow the leg to shift in and out. This action grips the sides of the filters. With the side of the unit facing up, take one of your filters and find the arrow on the side. Now position the filter in the opening with the arrow facing into the box. Loosen the screws on the top and bottom to allow the legs to slide freely. Move them slightly until the filter slides into the space between them. Now tighten the screws down on all sides. The filter should be resting on these tabs you see here. When two filters are installed, the corner should look like this. For every filter after the first, you will loosen the next leg and slightly unscrew the leg that is in contact with the previous filter. Drop the filter in and push the legs up against it. Then tighten the screws down. The same operation is used for the 20 by 30 inch filters on the Model B. When you are done, there should be no gaps on any side of the filter. It's generally best to orient the filter so that the pleated material is vertical. This particular set of filters has been installed 20 times over a wide range of tests by now and they have developed a bit of a dent. This can also be caused by using too few shims. This design can handle damaged filters to an extent, but some will prevent it from working properly. Some filters may also be manufactured in a way where a gap forms next to the leg. The excess cardboard could be trimmed off in this case if desired. For filter changes with identical filters, just loosen the screws, remove the old ones, and insert the new ones. This generally only takes about a minute. If your filters are a different size, you may need to add or remove the shims for a perfect fit, and it can take about 5 minutes to complete. For 2-inch filters, the process is identical to the 1-inch filter installation. 
I have a video where I test 11 different types of filters to find out which performs best. 3M filters generally perform better than the rest, but there are some great off-brand options as well. You can watch that video next if you'd like. Now we can install the box fan. This HomePoint brand fan almost works, but its cord comes out the backside and does not easily fold downwards. This will prevent the fan from lying perfectly flat. A better option is this Lasco fan with metal sides. Its cord is more easily directed away from the top of the filter box. Place the fan on the unit so that the front faces up. It is not recommended on this design to point the fan downward into the box. Position the fan so that the wooden circle is centered on the back of the fan. Equal amounts of wood should be present on all sides. The outside of the fan should also be parallel with the edges of the top plate. Using a pen or pencil, mark the middle of each side of the fan. Now grab the scratchy side of the Velcro strips included in the kit. Stick them to the surface just inside the pencil mark. Press firmly to ensure adhesion. The soft side of the Velcro strip is attached to the back of the fan. Press these on firmly as well. Make sure they are centered on all sides. The fan can now be stuck to the surface. Try to keep it centered on the box. For larger fans like this Air King and the 20 by 30 inch Model B, the process is the same as before. Mark the sides, apply the hook side of the Velcro to the unit, apply the loop side of the Velcro to the fan, and that's it. The box fan can easily be removed if desired. It's best to pick up the unit from the wood like so, not the fan itself. Now all you have to do is find a nice spot for the filter and start it up. The Model B with an Air King box fan and 3M MERV 13 filters can clean up to 1200 cubic feet of air per minute. If that isn't enough, there is the Model A. There is a kit for this one too. Later this week, I will put out the video with all the performance and price information on each one of these designs. That includes these washable k and filters that will last for many years and achieve an extremely low long-term cost of operation. All these kits are available for purchase on my Etsy page. The first three people to buy them will get $50 off and shipment before the holidays. The next batch will go out early next year. I'll also be launching a version of this that you can make yourself with a 3D printed kit, but I need some time to make adjustments to the design that will help make these easier to build with basic tools. I assume most people don't have a CNC machine at their disposal. Those kits will be released in a few weeks time. A special thanks goes out to Rodney at Soulcraft. He was a huge help when it came to prototyping all of these filters with his Shaper CNC router. I could not have done it without him. If you are in the St. Louis area and interested in learning how to work with wood, check out his shop. A link is in the description to his website and everything else in this video. Many thanks to my supporters on Patreon as well. If you'd like to support the channel, that's a great way to do it. Let me know what you think of the design and anything else you want to say in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.